Good morning, everybody. So yeah, it's Friday morning. Um, I just got out of the shower. I took a shower because I put self-tanner on. And look at my hands. Like they keep getting messed up and I put it on my hands. So I'm so confused why I wake up and like I don't have any self-tanner on my hands. I like really seriously don't get it. Um, but anyway, this is just what I have on. Little outfit details, just like a little brandy cropped t-shirt. Um, with these new Soul Cycle joggers that I got yesterday or a few days ago, but yeah, just super comfy and cozy because I have like a lot of stuff to do today. And my hair is like bothering me right now because I feel like when I don't wash it, right when I wake up in the morning, it gets like weird when I sleep on it. That's why like I got the silk pillowcases so it didn't get messed up when I was sleeping. Um, but I don't know, it just feels weird because like I just took a shower and I didn't wash it because I washed it last night. But anyway, um, I need to get my nails done. They're so bad. I've had like no gel on them for a few days. I peeled it off and then I put like just strengthening, like a strengthening clear coat on it just to make them a little bit stronger. But today finally I get to go get my nails done. I have absolutely no groceries. I've been waiting because today I'm like going home for the night. So like I knew I wasn't gonna be around here really, which is so stupid. Like. I should have just got groceries because now I literally have to go out and get breakfast somewhere because I don't have anything here and if I go to like Whole Foods or something and then come back and make breakfast like it's just a huge process and like I need to kind of got to get stuff done today so that's what I'm gonna do oh I'm gonna make a little coffee before I head out also and I just have my little k-cup box up here where I keep all of my k-cups Ew, I don't want that one. Um, I actually have to go to Starbucks and restock. These are the ones that I like, just the Christmas blend. And I know that probably they have like another one for this year. I just had these left over from last year. And like, I'm pretty sure coffee doesn't go bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop one of these in my Keurig and get it all ready to go and then head out and start getting my day started. Loving this outfit right now, and I don't know why, but I'm just wearing a little beanie from Madewell. Sorry, the lighting is like really weird with this mirror. I kind of need to find a new spot to put it because I like don't know how to like show it without the lighting being super weird. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit. So I'm just wearing the joggers, the shirt, and then I threw on my big IMG black um, pixie jacket, and then I just have a little beanie from Madewell. Makes me look like an egg when I don't have makeup on. Like beanies don't like look good. <laughs> but it's honestly so cold out today that like I don't really care. So this is what. I want to wear today and I don't know what color to get my nails done because I was saying I wanted light pink but now that I'm thinking about it I just don't know because if I get light pink it's not gonna go with any of my clothes that I wear so I think I'm gonna have to like get a dark color because I'm gonna be traveling a lot also in a few weeks so maybe I'll get like a light color when I go away since I'll actually be tan I don't know what I'm gonna do but anyway this is the fit of the day Oh, these pants are also really cool because along the back of them they say Soul Boston. So those are ew, I need to I need to stop. manicure I got black just because honestly like it matched my outfit today so I couldn't get anything light because I'm going on a trip soon so I feel like dark is the move. Just got home 
from Nails and Whole Foods. Um, I got some lunch. I picked up like a little stir fry bowl with like brown rice, kale, some veggies in it. So I'm gonna eat that um, for lunch. I'm really not that hungry right now because I got an iced chai and I drank like half of it. And it just like made me full. So um, yeah, that's that. But nails are black. They just look really good. Self tanner still looks awful. But I just got this in the mail and I was talking about that Clinique set that I was using a few days ago or like a week and a half ago that I bought because I ran out of my BioClarity. You guys know like I'm literally obsessed with this cleanser and then also this Restore Gel and the moisturizer is amazing. I just use the La Mer one like religiously so this one's good for like during the day when I wash my face if I don't want to like use my La Mer because I use the La Mer morning and night so this is like a good in between moisturizer and I love it and it's super like soft and hydrating and it's not oily but I'm just obsessed with the BioClarity. Like this isn't even sponsored. I just am truly in love with it. And I bought the Clinique one because I knew that this had to be ordered and I was kind of just like in a rush and I needed like a foaming cleanser right then and there. But this one's truly like my favorite in the whole world. And also look what they sent me. They sent a little um, cute travel size bag and look what's inside. A mini set of all of my favorite products. It's like they know that I'm going to be traveling so much in the next few weeks. So they sent like the cleanser, the restore gel, the moisturizer. So I'm super excited to be able to bring this with me on my trip. And I'm actually so excited to wash my face finally with a cleanser that I like. I also just got a huge box from Forever 21. I ordered so much stuff and I'm so excited for all of this because... I was like buying it online and then it made me realize like that I can do a whole separate video with all of it because obviously like you'll see why in the video but I'm just obsessed with everything so I'm gonna like unpackage it and try it all on and see how everything fits but I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I just got ready, did my makeup, this is what it looks like, um, yeah just pretty simple, natural, I need to do something about my hair because I literally can't leave it in a bun like this, but this is what I'm wearing right now. Um, just my Revolve dress by Lovers and Friends. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But I need to find a pair of shoes to wear with this dress. I have like my drying rack of all my stuff that I'm hand washing um, in the back, so don't mind that. But I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet, I think. I know I wanna wear a boot, or like a booty. But I have these ones right here that are just plain black. And I'll try on one um, and show you guys how it looks and then try on this other booty that I wanna wear and see how that one looks. And then we can just decide together what boot I'm gonna wear, even though by the time this video is up, I will have already been already. And this would have happened already, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, oh. so yeah, today I like did a ton of organizing, which I'm like really happy about. And I got like a lot of stuff done. I hung up a bunch of clothes that I got in the mail. This clothing rack is coming in handy. I hung up a bunch of stuff. The stuff I just showed you guys. Um, um, oh Jesus. Oh, I can't wear these. This looks awful, I don't even wanna show you guys. Oh my God. This is why, okay, I'm gonna show you the options. So we have this heel booty right here, which is cute, like kind of, and then I don't even wanna turn around. This is why like, I can't wear dresses and like tight stuff because of my butt. Like this looks, I look like I'm like going to the club on a Saturday. I can't like wear this. I'm gonna be like with family and stuff. Ugh, moments like this is where like girls who have no butt um, and want to have a bigger butt, you need to be grateful that you can wear stuff like this and not look like a club girl. You know what I mean? I feel like it's like New Year's Eve. I can't like wear a tight body con dress around. Hmm around family. That's super annoying. Even these black boots are supposed to be like slouchy, but my legs are so muscular that like, it doesn't like look right. You know what I mean? 
It just makes it look like, I don't know. They're just so tight on my legs. It like looks weird. So, the struggles of having big muscular legs. Now I need to like completely find a different outfit to wear. Like I just can't tell if this even looks cute right now. You know, I think I'm gonna have to change. Let me tell you people today, it's crazy what type of impact clothes can have on you. It's like actually insane. Like if you don't wear something that you truly feel comfortable in, like I don't know, I just feel like you, uh, I like don't feel like myself and I just feel like I, like it doesn't make me feel confident like wearing something that's like doesn't fit the type of body that I have and like I've come to the realization of like the things that I love for my body like that dress is so cute that I just had on um, it's from Evolve Sivan my favorite blogger like has it in black she looks so good in it but she's like tiny petite and like my legs are just muscular and I have a bigger butt so it just like doesn't look good on me well in this case but maybe it would look di why is this always zoom in uh, but maybe it would look different if I had like a pair of heels on and it was like a different type of like event, maybe like a Christmas party, but I still love the dress anyway, and I'm so obsessed with it, but I did change. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. So this is like the top dealio um, hoops from Target, all my jewelry that I always wear, all the details are in my jewelry video, linked down below, like always, got your back. Um, new Revolve jacket, and a Aritzia black, just plain bodysuit. And then I'm wearing these Forever 21 red high-waisted like jogger pants with a black stripe down the side. I'll show you guys. I'll stand back a little bit more. Um, black stripe all the way down the side and those black booties I just had on. I think they're from Nasty Gal, I want to say. Boohoo, Nasty Gal, one of those stores. But this is just the outfit. Full screen on your computer <laughs> and I just feel so much more comfy I feel like me I feel like I can like I don't know I feel confident and it's because I'm literally wearing pants and I'm obsessed with pants just because my legs and butt fit them so well and like they really cinch me in at the waist and then this jacket's just absolutely amazing added some boots let the pants like kind of get tight around my like calf and hang low. So this is the outfit, I'm kind of running a little bit late um, now that I just had that little fiasco and I've been thinking about what to wear all week and that outfit didn't work out so I just got really stressed. And yeah, so I'm gonna head out now. There's so much traffic, I'm like looking at it out my window right now. Uh, it's gonna take me like two hours to get to the Cape from here so that's gonna be awesome. Um, but I will talk to you guys when I get there Fill you in on what's going on. You guys are probably so confused like first of all, why are you dressed up? Like you're going to the Met Gala and second why? Like what's going on and you guys are gonna be so surprised, um, but I'm super excited I'm also like I don't know It's like making me nervous and it kind of like doesn't really have anything to do with me But I'm just like really excited and yeah, sorry that I'm like playing around with my earring It's falling out of my ear but enough of me ranting on. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, I love you, bye. You guys don't know what's happening right now and I'll explain later, but we're surprising my mom. I'm shaking. I know, me too. Oh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> I know she is, look at her. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what happened tonight. Sorry, I'm like putting my hair in a ponytail. Um, just to like get it out of my face because it's kind of like wet. But I'm so tired, it's like 11.30 and I decided to um, come back to my mom's house because Emma's not here tonight and I didn't want to drive all the way back to Boston after like being so far down Cape I was like it's so late like I'll just go in the morning and then Tyler and I are gonna like hang out tomorrow and go Christmas shopping and um, stuff like that so 
I was like, I really don't need to like be back for anything like right now tonight. I'll just like drive in the morning because like I don't like driving at night and I can't see. So anyway, I came back to my mom's house and yeah, I didn't actually end up vlogging tonight like I thought I was going to. And I'm actually kind of like glad about it because I just kind of wanted tonight to be like a more personal night with family. And obviously like I'll tell you guys what happened and explain it, but I didn't really want to like vlog while we were there just because I wanted it to be about my mom and Chris and um, my mom got engaged and I'll insert like the video clip right here of like my mom's ring sparkling. I took like a little Instagram story and I just posted it and like I'm so happy for her and I like literally started crying and I've been thinking about this day for the past like couple of weeks ever since Chris first told me that he was going to ask her and like thinking about it and thinking about how happy that she was going to be in that moment just like made me cry even though I wasn't even with her and I don't know my mom is just so cute and she's so deserving of this like she's the most like loving and caring kindest person like my mom has truly the kindest heart in the whole entire world and she's just such a great mom and like she's literally my best friend. I don't know what I would do without her and just to see her so happy and to see her with somebody who truly appreciates her and loves her and like cares about her and just wants the best for her and just would give her the whole entire world. Like it just makes me so happy because my mom like deserves everything and she's so happy and I'm just so happy for both of them. So it was a really great night. We like um, all surprised her after she got engaged and we had like a big dinner and stuff and like my grandparents were there her sister my cousins um, Chris's two daughters were there and then also like his sister so yeah basically like my whole entire family was there and then like Chris's whole entire family was there and it was just so amazing we had like a big dinner and we all just like talked and it was just such like a good like vibe it was just really really nice and yeah, so anyway, my mom got engaged and that's what happened tonight and it was so crazy because I've known about this for so long and my mom was just so cute, like she literally had no idea and she was so excited and she was like crying all night and it was just like good and happy tears and I'm just like really happy for them. So yeah, but I just want to end off the video before I go to bed. Shout out Arlen, this new t-shirt's like really comfy. Um, anyway, I love you guys and I'm gonna upload my vlog now. It's 11.23 before the day's over because I didn't get to upload earlier because I like finished editing, got the video, uploaded to YouTube, didn't edit my thumbnail, description, anything because I was in such a rush to leave and drive from the Cape to Bo from Boston to the Cape. So I left like super late, I guess. I left at like 3.30 and I got here at 6.30. It took me three hours. It was insane. So anyway... I'm going to end off the video here. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.